Has the stream started? Um, the lobby has been joined. Sorry if that's mean. Can you invite me? Yeah, sure. Live. Welcome back to Dewey Sports uh, Season Six, uh, Week Eight. Uh, Saturday, this was a week, Week Six, uh, Week Eight, Day Two. Huh. I am sheer fucking will. I'll be the play-by-play uh, -play -play caster, and joining me today is Flaming Thunder. He will be my color caster. How are you doing, Flaming? Doing good. How are you, sure? I'm doing pretty good, as you may have seen, uh, coming from a two win today. Good. Uh, good play on set, dude. So speaking of winning, who do you think will be Is on the line. They have to win every single game and hope other teams actually lose some games to even qualify for a tiebreaker. And on the other hand, we have Ether Esports that has been struggling for a bit. Um, they seem to have their full roster today, but what do you think? Uh, some random club, dude. I think if they ban away Fridges mid lane, He'll have nothing, he'll run him over. Should be easy claps, you know what I'm saying? So you're betting on some random club to win today. Correct. Am I correct? Oh, correct. Yeah. So for What's some reason game? For some reason some random club has not banned the first time. Are they losing bans today? They lose two bans today. Oh that's Third unlucky. Bed. And I think they have an E sub, I think in the top lane? Or mid. I forget which one. I think it's the mid lane. I am fluffy. I don't remember. I don't remember his name. I know Minecraft Twenty One Lever has played previous games, so it's safe right. to assume he is on the roster. And there's the Rumble ban. Yes, Rumble has been the most consistent champion for Fridge this season. Correct. He's been an absolutely an absolute terror in the mid lane with it, and that makes a lot of sense. If that's the only ban you have, you go for that one. Uh, yeah. On the other side, we have Aether going for the Cinder ban. I'm guessing that's a pick that I am he's playing a lot. And in Ornban, Ornban has been a stable top winner this season. Uh, lost a bit of power in the recent weeks after he got patched down yeah. and nerfed down. I think he's still pretty strong. The only problem is uh, Rumpel gets his main, which Renekton, if he likes into the set. And yeah, I think Renekton is not a bad pick into set, especially with the Bork meta right now in the top lane. 
Yeah. But set is definitely a strong pick and can be flexed. If you don't like your top bling matchup, you can go jungle, you can go support. We saw a lot of support set recently. And sometimes so, even mid, if the matchup slots you had allows it, like for example, an orn mid, but we won't see it this game. And a Pantheon. Pantheon is a great counter to set, uh, as you can just block his Haymaker. You think it'll be going top? I think Pantheon could go top against his a set, because Pantheon can trade decently well against Set, and once Set wants to retaliate with uh, Haymaker, he just blocks it with his E, therefore has no damage done to himself. Right. And then we can see a Rakan here. It will be fun to see if SRC will. No, they won't. They won't deny the Gazaya pick, and they'll go for the classic Lucian Brom. In Strong your opinion, game. Flame. Yeah, in your opinion, Flaming, uh, what do you think is better, Lucian Brom or possibly the Zaya Rakan here? I think uh, Zaya Rakan is just. Mountains above the Lucian Bro. The uh, the amount of engage Rakan has with the uh, with Zaya in lane is like sort of, like it's too high. I think Lucian ha Lucian Brom have uh, from level one to five to kill them. If they don't, mm -hmm. that's it. So very interesting here. They go for the Renekton pick. They're not wanting this one to ban, and they're going to risk the Zaya ban here. Uh, what do you think about this decision? I think it's bad because, uh, as you assumed, you thought Pantheon was already top against Set, so maybe their team also assumed this. So you just pick up your bot lane here, especially with them picking theirs in front of you. I do not tolerate so they I mean, think it it's set? not Set. Pantheon is a triple flex that you can go top, jungle, mid. Uh, I'm assuming Fridge as a X top laner could be playing it at some point. Uh, GamePi could have picked it up, seeing that it's, uh, it currently has a 100% win rate in Dewey Sports, 7 picks total. Uh, so they banned, they banned Darius, assuming Set is not going to the top lane. I mean, it's either or. Uh, it could be Pantheon, jungle, top mid, and Renekton top, probably. Uh, no, on the, on the side of... Uh, oh, okay, on the side, they, they do have the side of ban on Darius. Just in case, like, really in case, because Darius could... I mean, I don't know, because Renekton is a counter to theirs, so... Correct, yeah. It's interesting, usually, maybe... Maybe it's just really... Scared of playing into Darius. Exactly, I mean, I know a lot of people are just don't want... Even if they know they can counter a certain pick, they just don't want to play into it, because it's... Uh, Darius is not their comfort. What, yeah, exactly. What, what it's just not a comfort <laughs> matchup. Like, you don't like playing against that champion, even though you had a technically stronger champion. Looks like a... Uh, some random clubs assuming the Pantheon is in the jungle with the mid lane. Which, lanes. which is a safe assumption. I think every single game has been jungle except one, which was a five club spike uh, last week with Pantheon top. Not going with Desire Con. Interesting. No, opting for the Kaiser here, um, which is really interesting because Rakan alone is not the best champion. Like he has really poor range on his um, shielding dash. Yeah, this, so that's... this lane might be a bit iffy. Soraka top? Do we see it? No, okay. no way. There's no way there's a rook okay. You're going to see a Chilga top, which is not bad, actually. If you, He has a lot of CC to stop the Renekton or the Tantion from chaining their abilities. The, I like the silence is really underrated, I think. Underrated. Silence, I think, the most annoying CC in, the game. in a lot of kits. Like, not, I won't say in the games, because I'm pretty sure any grounding ability is most, more, a lot more annoying. Cassiopeia. Uh, oh. Cassiopeia Miasma, for example. Or... Yeah. Um, Singe W, too. Actually, no, one of the most annoying is Vagar's Cage. They got that shit, too? Yeah, they got it. Uh, it's actually really good into Rakan, because you can't, you can't really engage recklessly. You'll just get caught. Oh, and Fizz going into... The mid lane for fridge i think that's is that the first time we see fridge on it i'm not quite sure it might be mm. i don't know so Looks we can like... I... go ahead they're they're going for like a, a blow up style team with the uh, kaisa hopefully able to peel herself what's recon renekton renekton mm. fridge mid maybe fizz top uh i mean they still have us a... no they won't they won't so yeah. we see the swap here and what 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 comp do you prefer? I feel like blue team here, so um, SRC has a better scaling comp. On the yeah, other side, the red team is really slippery and could really spike hard in the mid game. 
Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think the blue team, as long as they don't die like more than five or six times before like 25, 20 minutes, like for for nothing, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. if Vega doesn't die three times to Fizz, like blue side's comp is just so much better. Because Pantheon gets outscaled by Set, Cho'Gath outscales Renekton, and I prefer the Lucian Braum over Kaiser or, or Connor any day. I feel like as soon as Vega gets Zhonya, Fizz has a really really hard time killing anybody. Like he'll have to aim for Lucian because Set is about you don't want to all in a set. He'll just you know return it back to your face. Cho'Gath is a big ass tank. Um, Braum also can block most of your damage. So this is going to be an interesting uh, game here. See how they maneuver and try to stick to their win con. Yeah. And as we wait two minutes for the spectator, we'll be back, correct? Yes, we'll take a short little break. I need to eat. Uh, I'll be right back, chat. God bless. Yo, Sheer. Sheer. About to hop into game. You skins to win. Ah, uh, I like blue sky skins. Bad Santa Vega, our best one. All right, I am back for the champs uh, loading screen here. Um, any particular rune sets? Uh, Halo Blaze Kaisa. Right. Interesting, I guess. Halo Blaze Kaisa. No, I, he has been popping a couple times. It's it's, uh, it's a different style of build where you look for to proc your passive much faster. And uh, the other thing that's interesting is the set not going phase rush. It's been really popular as a set jungle. Yeah. Jungle. Strong. As you're not exactly looking to brawl it out, you just want to close the gap as fast as possible. Yeah. You go right, dead man's thing. played too. Really strong. Is... 
So it seems like we're going to see a five man, five point cover from both teams here. Actually, no. Um, just a four point, <laughs> four point cover. <laughs> Looks like they know they're gonna invade. Thirty seconds. Renekton is there to counter. Spawn. They're trying to get some vision here. Um, I mean, yeah, they get the word. Getting a, get a word on the raptor camps, which is not that bad. Like if your jungler knows there's a word there, he can he, he can put it. There's some way to yeah. do it. Just walk around, dude. Mind control. Yeah, Pantheon is one of the few junglers that can actually do a full clear health fleet, uh, with, like with a, a lot of health at the end. And uh, be on scuttle all the time, just like uh, Olaf, for example. So, if he goes for a full clear, that ward should expire before it, it even sees him. SRC jungler did place the ward and then immediately back to get the scrying orb. A uh, scrying lens, uh, what if, the red lens to go give her an early gank, maybe? Oracle lens, yes. I mean, this is it's not really just for the early gank, it's just that the trinket ward is so high cooldown early on. Um, you're better just placing it to defend one side of your jungle and take the Oracle lens to clear wards whenever you roam, as he has, it, it has like half the cooldown of uh, the yellow trinket. The level two ganks, it seems. Oh. So Joey is going to be in a lot of trouble here if he gets caught. No. Let's have a little fight here in the bot lane. A little flash from the um, set Rakan. jungle here. And just going to get the flash of the Rakan and that's going to be it. Pantheon, Gimpy, Gimpy noticing that he's going to invade and start a vertical jungle. And hopefully set actually thinks about that and does his own vertical jungle. Hopefully. Doesn't seem if he doesn't, tough. he'll be really far behind after a failed gank attack. I mean, Rakan's flash is not the best thing in the, in the game, and now he's going to roam top lane here. Maybe try to get a gank. No. A little trading in the mid lane here. Um, Pantheon is going to be shadowing the mid lane, probably looking for a gank. Vigar is really, really dead in the center, and he's about to approach. Is the cage up? He's going to cage it, he was going to get caught, he's going to be forced to flash out, he must flash it or else he will die. The book gets stunned, Set just goes in and flashes, gets a nice little double uh, knock. Uh, was it Haymaker? No, not Haymaker. Um, it's the E, it's the, uh, I don't know. Anyways, we'll call it a little bit of a trace here. It's one for oh, yeah, two flashes though, that is good. Actually two Four? for two, oh yeah, one for two, you're right. Vagar did not flash in the end. We take those. If Set was able to stun them too, I think that's a kill on at least one of them. But uh, unable to do that. He, he flashed and he did his um, his E. But they were both on the same side, therefore they got, they didn't they didn't get stunned. No. Set to his dismay just noticed that he has no more blue buffs, and he just got triple buffed by Gimpy. Gimpy's going to second to secure the the second scuttle crab here. First for him. Yeah. First frame. Uh -huh. Brum getting low here. Forces Lexar to heal him right here. Um, nice little trade here from the side of Ether Esports. Pantheon roaming bot mid again. A little trade here. Rakan's going to be frog by the Brum's old. My fall here. He's falling low. He has no flashes. And Vegar's forced to flash here is going to be low. Probably going to have to reset here. And a lot of action near the game here. Trying to stop in the top lane. We have Renekton going in on the uh, Choga. Choga telling him to, "What the hell are you doing? Get out of my lane!" That's early spikes. Can hurt a lot. But there's a large CS lead in the top lane. Large and deep. 17 CS and. Closing in a bit here, but Shogat has the sustained game here, but Renekton looking for more. He has a half a rage blade, a half a rage bar. Going to dodge a rupture and he's going to go back with the second dice and slice. And no, he's not. I'm just going to keep farming here. Probably going to reset. And now we have our first Drake spawning, which will be a mounting Drake. Who you Looks like uh, the red side is probably going to take this Drake from the earlier aggression from Pantheon and Fizz. And their bot lane is uh, winning out in the matchup. I mean, blue side is looking to set up for Drake here. Pantheon is not in any position to try to contest this um, 
The grabbing vision, they have already four men. Fizz I was forced to recall. Rhaegar's going to clear the mid lane. Mid lane wave here. Mid lane is a big... Like, mid, mid lane Bryo is really important in this game. And they got Bryo bot lane. They should be looking for this Drake here, and I think they are. No, they're not. Huh. Not doing the Drake yet. A lot Pantheon, of has said lot of time. Pantheon has so much time to just walk over now. Yeah, too much hesitation it's cost them a lot of time on here. Uh, yeah. Set looking for a counter gank in the mid lane, but Fizz is not a gankable character. You don't want to spend too much time there. Up to top, maybe get Cho'Gath a little bit. Ah, Cho'Gath evened out a little bit on CS. Yeah, okay. He's doing perfect fine. He's going to pick up this Ninja Tabby here. This is a really good item to protect you don't want to get chonked down. By, UH, uh, by the Bork. It seems that Renekton is going for a Bork here. Um, Bork, Tim, could be one of them, yeah. It's actually Bork, Black Cleaver, I believe. That's the build, really? That is currently the most the build of most top laners. You see Aurelia build it, you see Fiera build it. And Gimpy is going to try to catch the Vagar here. He's going to force to Aegis and just a little high five to them. But Gimpy is almost getting caught. He has no flash to get out, but no, just going to walk it out. If Braum hits Q there, I think that's a kill. Very unlucky. It is probably indeed. He was he had no shield to block any damage, and oh, the chomp is going to miss here. And honestly, that's a lot of uh, a lot of cooldowns being blown. Um, I feel like Narcissus should be looking for dragon here. It really should. Like Pantheon's back to top side. He was no HP. You have a pink ward. Seeming to be free to play. Opting to reset instead. They reset, they will. Uh, this is going to be a forfeiture of division as Rakan is walking in the river. He's going to spot that pink board here. So, a lot of wet noodle fights and a lot of action, but no actual, like, um, nothing concrete, right? No kills done. Uh, goal lead is slightly in favor of E3 Sports here. Probably due to the farm lead of top lane. Yeah, and, and, and a little actually. bit of mid. Yeah. Mid and top. A lot of gold. So, I was wrong. It's not a Bork fill. He went for Tiamat. Probably wanted more blink control during the wave. Um, yeah, it's good to have against like a Choga because Choga has a lot of killer as well. Like almost insta clears, like level 9. I feel like you're, you're delaying your power spikes for so long without the Bork. Uh, against a tank Choga. Uh, really, you're only telling him we're going to trade waves, and Choga is like, alright, that's fine with me. I just want to farm and get bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. And especially if uh, if Choga can sneak some art all ultis into eating the minions instead of fighting, it's really good. Has he already got one? Quick little trade here. Romchi is going to get this level 8 and just dice out. And oh no, Divine is sent. SRC Divine is coming for a gank, going to smite him and force the flash from up and down. I think the next time he walks up, he's dead. Rom hits the Q, but it's not going to quite finish the passive here and not going to force a exhaust early, from the Rom and it's an early as cleanse. Well. Yeah. Yep. They cleanse the uh, wrong time. I don't know about you, but I would trade my exhaust for a. Oh, wait a second, and is that going to be a one-shot? Yes, first blood for Fridge on the fifth. This is not the person you want to have killed right now. No, it is Divine's not. going to try to get some... Oh? Going to catch it back, but not quite. Mm. Too silly for you. It's not going to be able and to I'm... catch the Fizz. Is Dragon going to be finally taken here? Uh, no, nah, we're, uh, we're, we're, it's a gentleman's agreement. No one's taking Drag this game. Oh, true. Are you saying it's a 20 minute no rush uh, farming game? Yeah, we're, we're just farming it up. <laughs> they just want to hold there. down to catch this Braum here. Braum has flash to get out, but will he use it? And Gimpy is going to take the second kill of the game here. And that was a nice little roam here. And this should be Dragon for sure, right? For sure? For sure, dude. Unless Vagar. Oh no, they have Renekton roaming down. This should be Dragon, yes. 
This should be Dragon, they are pulling it out. SRC Divine has Flash and might try to look for a, another godly seal as he's done versus Fire Club the other day. Um, he's in position, but he's going to be denied. He's going to force a fight with the Pantheon here and... Dragon has been reset and there's gonna... Ch Choga is going to teleport, he's going to miss the rupture. He's caught between the team and the rest of the Dragon. And it's, it's, it's a potato fest. It's a potato fest indeed, there's no, no dragon yet! Oh my god! They're just chilling. <laughs> Everyone reset, we'll come to dragon, five more minutes. Sounds good. I mean, that, <laughs> that is a, an advantage win, getting the TP out of uh, Cho'Gath. So, yeah, dude, they'll I mean, take it's, that. It's a free, tr it's a good trade, because you should stop the first dragon in the game, so, why not? Yeah. But now we're next and they go top. If they see Cho'Gath stop, they can just TP down for a dragon. Wait, the Renekin does have TP advantage, and we're gonna see a bit of trade here in the bot lane. Just gonna farm it out. Uh, overall, Eater has a CS lead against every laner, but Gimpy is falling behind in the jungle. Um, a little he does, bit, but he has the kill. He, he did pick up a kill though, yeah, for sure. Looks like uh, in in gold. Mid lane's uh, like 700 ahead. Biggest lead so far. Yes, he, he has a 14 yes lead plus the first blood uh, solo kill. And we have a such a divine in the river here. Going to grab the skull crab. And maybe maybe they the drag. Up, maybe. I mean, F uh, Fizz has the uh, lane advantage here. And Rumpy is showing himself top. Pantheon is also like top, but they don't that. And it starts to divine. The drag. Start, he did start the dragon. And Fridge and is going oh. MIA. They might be. Uh, oh, and they don't know. Oh. Buffy is dead. They've secured the dragon. On the but top lane. Oh, guys, is being ganked, but he's going to change his CC quite nicely. Not he's just gonna get out of it with half his health. So, this might start I don't know about that. Is the Drake really worth a second kill on Fizz? This is my question. Maybe Fluffy could play it better. Um, I think he could have just relaxed. I think Fizz was just looking for that kill. If he was under tower, he can't get that. As easily as he did. I don't know if you I... remember what I said. I said if Fizz has three or four kills before like 15 minutes, it's not going to look pretty. Uh, this is I 100% agree here. And we see Ether is going for that little rip here. Probably going to get it. Sister Divine not looking to contest it. And it's going to before 14. Here. It's going to be really good. They should rush it down yep. mid right now. Yeah, they Hopefully have four on. plays. Oh, Chomp is going to connect. Is Fizz going to pull for the all in? He does get his Q, but oh, barely be uh, uh, barely out of turret range here. Uh, but this is a on. flash for Vagar. Yeah. Oh. They got to the referral mid. Um, Divine is ready here. He wants to defend this. Probably going to get two plays here, but not much more. As they have a four man mid here. Um, That's just money. That's just straight up money, yeah. So guys, want to clear some vision in the top side river. Uh, same for the Rakan for the bot side river. Do you think and... uh, the Righteous Glory for uh, Cho'Gath is the right choice? I mean, it's debatable. Uh, you're not exactly looking to close the gap on anyone in the game, but... I think, uh, I'm I think not, Frozen I'm not... Heart's better this game. You can stop the Kai'Sa from like, insta-autoing you. Pantheon, Renekton. Guys, uh, Frozen Heart could have been a good pick here. Um, I also see a Frozen Gauntlet could have been something, but... Yeah. Actually, no, he already has full of slows. And SRC Divine is going to smite, I'm going to miss the head smashing ability. Um, and that's what happened. Yeah. So, so far, the CS lead is shrinking, though. We see only a 6 CS lead, 6 CS lead for Kai'Sa bot lane. A 10 CS for a fridge and a 15 CS, 17 CS, no, something like that. Correct my math, but all, around 20 CS for top lane. Yeah. It's definitely shrinking. 
But uh, you gotta encounter like the two kills on the Fizz. It's Fizz is going to be flanked. He's going to miss the chomp on water, but oh, that's, that's oh no, he gets stunned. He's putting the fall here, and this is a nice showmaker yeah. from Divine going to slow the Pantheon. Pantheon has no more shield. He has flash is down also. With the force of Renekton and teleport. Now that's three on one. SRC Divine is forced to flash out. And this is going to be a one through one. A couple of summoners. And a lot of pressure not going bot lane. I think uh, Divine should have ordered sooner. Because the Fizz got another extra auto on the Vega that probably killed him. I think now, if he ours. Little questionable decision from Eater. It chose to stay 4 mid with one a single minion to try to force this turret. But now they're losing a lot of pressure top of mid. They are going to catch this mid lane here. And this is the first blood turret of the game. That's good. If they can answer back with two towers, it's better. They should uh swap bot to top. Try to get the other outer. Uh, not quite yet. The dragon is about to spawn in one minute. Uh, there should be no rotation. Cholgat has teleport advantage over Rumpy now. So this is this is looking really good to, for SRC Divine right now. Even though the goal lead is 800 in favor of uh, Eater. It's not that bad. Cholgat is really getting massive right now. Indeed. He's getting to be a big old Cho. Time to check the stacks. What is he at? Six he stack. He has, a, he has a max stat for the minions. He should be looking for champion kills and epic monster kills. Indeed. That is a big Cho death indeed. He needs to reset. I'm pretty sure he's sitting on gold. He's currently sitting on 1.2k gold. That's enough to finish his Righteous Glory for sure. So. Yeah. Fridge getting caught here is going to die with trying to all in the Fizz, the wow. evolution. And this is should be Drake for SRC Divine. That's, uh, that's of, not good to see. Most the of the goal lead of Ether is on Fizz here. Yeah. Gimpy might be looking for a steal. No, he's going to just farm mm -hmm. his um, Grom. Oh, nice little ult from Kaisa, but Kaisa's going to look at the ult. No, he's not going to quite get it. As he gets stunned at the end. And he gets, he gets numbed by the Flash Cho'Gat, saving the Vagar. That's... And he had cleanse up and he used it late. He didn't even... He blocked nothing. His cleanse was late. Very unfortunate for Mr. Maple Story. You mean it was late or early? It was late. He didn't even. The box went up. He got stunned by it, and he cleansed when it was done. That's unlucky. If he had a bit more talent, he might have worked here. Yes, if he cleansed early, I think he gets the kill for sure. KMP going to clear, going to use all his ability to clear the wave here. Um, Sometimes you're sure going to be. Go ahead. Cleanse and not heal, because that looks like a heal play. True. So, after all this, the gold lead is still in favor of Eater, probably because of this first blood turret. But two dragons and a scaling comp. This is not going to be enough for Eater, I fear. I think so. They need to win like another team fight or two and really take some towers. Because only having one tower being an early game advantage team. Not so good. And both both their outers are like a couple autos out. So. True. Every for for having lane dominant uh, picks. Not talking about bot lane. They their top three is really healthy. Like, so yeah. did a good, really good job of stalling the game here. And he's just going to steal this red buff. So why not? Sure. He might be looking to pick up the Braum here. Braum is going to force a shield, is going to stand behind Vagar, and nothing's going to happen here. It was a good uh, cage from Vagar to stop the engage. Mm -hmm. Quite indeed. And meanwhile, SRC is taking Rift Dragon, uh, Rift, uh, Rift Arrow. Oh, you're not gonna get it. Baron is spawning. Quite unlucky. Very unlucky. They need, they do need someone bot lane to answer the Fizz. It will indeed. It will be interesting to see who would be our sending to answer him. Probably Chokat. 
Probably. You could send your bot lane top to have Vagar just clearing minions. Safely from mid lane. Send the whole team bottom. So, we were talking about the minion, the, the CS lead shrinking, but now it's growing. Uh, 25 CS Lucian's down, uh, 28 CS for Vagar, and around 20 CS for Cho'Gath. It's from everyone all they're they're air ramming mid. There's not enough CS to go around. Meanwhile, Fizz is grabbing the side waves. But uh, the jungle does have a 50 CS lead, so you can take where you get it. Yeah, especially Devon has been doing a really good job to keep the farming count up. I guess a Pantheon, nonetheless. Pantheon is a, has a really healthy clear. Like you should be able to clear every camp in under a minute and a half. Indeed. I think this is top tower going down. No one's in the area. Yeah, this is a free turret for Rumpy Dump. Um, Want to cash those. in those 300 gold? Yeah, we take those, obviously. They need to be... I think if blue side gets those two outers, they'll be in a really good position. They can set up a nice vision line to not get caught up by the Fizz. So, Lexstar going all in, going to... Proc, Proc is Bork on the Kai'Sa, but now nice little charm from uh, Rakan who's going to do a lot of damage, but Brom's going to block most of it, and Vagar just coming in and rushing Ether's hope. Uh, is going to roll mid, maybe they can try to get something, but this tower should be falling. Rumpy Dump is going to try to defend it, uh, they're going to give it up, and Fizz is looking for a flank, but he's going to see SRC Divine. Not the person you want to all in, he has Haymate here. Forced to flash out and Fridge is going. Not doing much, just all in the person you should not all in. And this should be a third Drake for the side of SRC. Yeah, this, is you, this is where you're really scared for the for red side. Because if they get this third Drake, soul point. And they're, the soul point will be when they're the strongest point in the game. You'll have Vigar with two items, Cho'Gath two items, Lucian two items. I don't want to be. Unfortunately for Eater, it's a win drake. It's probably not the best drake for the side of uh, SRC, but we take them. Right? I'm scared of a Vagar that can ult every uh, 50 seconds, to be honest. I mean, usually the T5 is done already uh, before the second ult is up. Uh, True. More importantly, Soul Drake, Soul Cloud Drake gives you uh, out of combat movement speed, like 50 points, which is a, which is fantastic for roaming and rotating. And uh, what movement speed off ulti is correct? Right? Like uh, when you use ultimate, you get movement speed. So yeah, Lucian uh, movement speed well. on on the calling, it's scary. They'll run you down. So oh. Zonia's on the Zvegar now, can stop any fizz engage. Yeah, There's only we're talking about Lucian it now. We're talking about it in the champs like um, as soon as Vagar gets uh, Zanya, Fizz will have a really hard time killing anybody right now. He's just going to grab this color vision for Baron here and clear some wars. But I don't know if they can keep on that vision here. Um, SRC looks really strong, even though they are still technically on uh, behind gold lead. Yeah, it's it's just like you you have Vagar has a passive to gain free stats towards his AP, right? That's yes. free gold. You have Cho'Gath gaining free health, free gold, free gold. So I would say the gold lead is even in favor of blue team with those free stats. If you were to count them gold wise, I don't know how many AP Vagar has. Right now. I can tell you later, but. Gimpy is going to be catched, our Chomp is going, Chomp and Water is going to miss, and Showtime on Gimpy solo gold is going to blast going away. And now it's going, this is madness, a little TP from Cho'Gath, and everybody is going to just escape with their lives. Uh, really a weird ulti from uh, Divine, right back into a piece of the water. Quite indeed, and they are looking for Dubrayn, nope they're not. Quite hard to do, Ben, when the Skullcraft vision is still up. Um, just going to look to get some lane trio and clear words. Yeah. 
But now, um, Minecraft 21 lover has been forced to teleport. Uh, he'll have to chill around the barren area for a bit. I can TP at the same time. So at least, uh, they still have a TP on Baker if he wants a side lane. <laughs> I mean, do with what you will. He could indeed, but Gimpy is just going to start to stall this wave here. Going to get a little tickle on the turret and nothing going to happen here. Isn't this is looking grim. Well. This is looking grimmer and grimmer for the side of Ether. They are not able to do anything right now, and Fridge is looking to want to catch Lucian here. Is Lucian going to die? The Guardian might be saving him. And no, he's going to fall, and Kaita is in the back lane. Fridge is falling, got chumped by the Chokat. Chokat is going really tanky here. Vegas forces Zanya, but Rumpty Top is just an absolute monster in the back lane here. Chokat going to fall, and now we have Zivai in the back lane going to try to kill Showtime on the uh, Kaisa. Haymaker is going to do a lot of more damage, but now he has no more. He is going to fall. Vegar escaped with his life, and this is a 3 for 2 in the favor of Eater Esports. That was a really weird play. Set was for some reason in the top side playing a red buff instead of uh, joining his team. Very unlucky. They, they clearly did not expect Fridge to be hiding in that bush for so long. It was the only bush that was not that had no like they had no vision of, and he caught the only target he had to caught catch, and that was Yeah, did really well with that flank. I thought he was gonna be in trouble. But uh, seeing Shogath about to walk up on him, decides to instant gauge. Good follow up from his team as well. Honestly, if I was uh, Lucian, I would go for an early Guardian Angel or even just a stopwatch. Just to survive that one all in and, you know, win the fight. But it seems he's going for a Black Cleaver? I don't know um, about that one, Chief. It's a Black Cleaver or? The famous Triforce Solution, Pog. Oh, Triforce Solution. The last time I saw one was in Season 4 when he got released. Um... The OP. The OP time. Oh, Cho'Gath one shot? I've seen it. Uh, nowhere, to be honest. No, there was, only, there was only two enemies for him to activate his home plate and one shot someone, but... Gimpy is going to catch the Vagar here, he's going to force to use his edges. Vagar is getting shot quite low by Gimpy, and now he is going to be forced to recall here. Choke out, activating the uh, glory, Righteous Glory. Blast going away, and now this is going to be Soul Dragon for SRC. Indeed, Choke gets chomp to secure. Let's go. But he missed the chomp. He missed the yeah. chomp. Thanks. Yeah, I hate to see it. At least he has it up soon. Now, this is actually double-edged, okay? You have soul on SRC side, but if somehow Ether is able to get the Elder Drake, uh, they're going to melt your front line really quickly. That is true. So, it, 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 right now the game is in SRC's counts to um, throw. You just have to play some quiet play, you know, just play the slow, methodical, don't do mistake, don't get caught, caught, and this should be good. What do you think? Yeah, if they play it slow, just let their tank tank, and if the long evolution and Vega don't get one shot, I think they just win it all out. Like, uh, Pantheon, you you definitely think he's fallen off. Without a Bork on your Renekton, you're, you're, you're basically falling off already. I know he's building it right now. Oh, he has it. He has it now, yes. Renekton, Renekton's a, uh, should be okay. He can blow up uh, Squishy for sure, if he can land on one of them. And Renekton I don't... Is next... a... Renekton item... Sorry, go for it. Kai'Sa is currently on three items, yes. Uh, she has really strong power spike right now. Um, I believe Renekton's next item should either be uh, Seraph's Cage or Death Dance. Either or is really good to survive a long, you know, yeah. longer straining fight. Either uh, one is good. SRC is going to clear the vision here on the side of Baron. Not much to clear, and uh, Gimpy is taking a really low uh, going to be forced to recall. See, if you're going to go for Bork, wouldn't you get it? Don't you SRC think? Divine's chasing the, the Fizz. Fizz has already used Trickster. He's going to use Chomp on, uh, on the Vine, and both will blow their flashes, and Frizz is getting out of there with this. 
I think it's fine for set to blow flash for fizz flash. Yeah, it's really fine. Uh, set is that's a, this is not the most important summer. Uh, fizz could probably use it even better. Um, so there's a really good trade here. Yeah. I mean, this just stalls out the game for the side of SRC, and this is looking even worse. It's going just, just getting bad for Aether. I think the goal lead, the, uh, they, they, they sell the goal lead though. They do. They, I think the uh, team at rush really hurt um, for Nekton. Because he, he would have had a bork like earlier, like way earlier. Maybe, Maybe not but but Brom's going to get caught here. Oh, no, not Brom. Uh, and Yon, yeah, it's going to take most of the damage with his E. Uh, he's going to get out of there, scratchless. Uh, Rumpkin is going to be forced to recall here. They really chunk down the inhib turret quite a bit. And SRC is also going to call for a reset. Probably sitting Elder on a lot of gold. Yes, indeed. Uh, Elder Drake spawning in three minutes. The Baron is still up. Uh, Honestly, it's not over with a score of 7-7, seven, seven, goal lead to Aether on round 3k, but Spousal, like, all the Drakes are on the side of SRC, and this is a lot of free stats, on top of the free stats of their infinite scale. Indeed. Uh, two Gargoyle Stone, three Gargoyle Stone Plates on the side of, uh, uh, SRC, which is, uh, really scary if you're trying to kill that front line as Kai'Sa. Yeah, you're not killing them quite yet. Honestly, I think the Rectin might be the game changer here. Has he, since he has a uh, fork and that does like percent of max HP, the first yeah. current percent HP. Yeah. Uh, so he could be chunking those tanks at some point once the backline is getting taken care of. And I can see that Rumpy Dump is probably looking for a uh, Revenous Hunter, a uh, Revenous Hydra. Looks like it, yeah. They, uh, they also are getting Zonias on the Kai'Sa. Already completed a Zonias on Fizz. Yeah, and a Black Giver on Lucian, which is, I mean, it's okay, I guess, because you do not you want to shred the tanky member of Eater, but they're not that tanky. Uh, if you notice, Renekton has no armors. Uh, uh, Pantheon has no armor. Nice little charm from the Rakan here is going to go all in, but now that's a massive show gap. They're not going to take him down. Fizz is in the back lane. He's going to get exhaust. He has going to force to use Zonia. Does he still have Strixter? No, he's going to fall. And now Pantheon is in the front line. is going to get muted. He's going to be kept up. Showstopper is going to take it down. Rakan is trying to do some CC, but this is an absolute massacre on the side of SRC. SRC is just to run it down. Force Zonia. This is just good night, Maple. And this is a clean ace. Is Kogas gonna fall? Not even clean ace beside this SRT. This should be game. That is the game. Even with the Zonia's on Kaisa, uh, stopwatch, Zonia's on Fizz, it, they were unable to capitalize. SRT falling behind in the CS department, but absolutely dominating in the rest of the objective control and on the uh, draft itself. And this is going to be GG. Said, SRC to win. Quite indeed, Flaming Thunder speaking some, spinning some truth here. Um, he called it for his RC. Uh, hey, they're going to, they're going to finals. They're going to the end. I see it. Every other team's gonna lose. <laughs> all right, all right, I like it. I like it. We'll see if this truly happens, though. Uh, so another defeat for the side of Ether. Uh, not gonna look good on the record right now. And SRC, good win. Uh, good job on them. And let's look at some stats here. Who did who dealt the most damage in those two teams here? Wait a second. Four members of Ether has under 10k damage. Ah, I see the problem. This is a really surprisingly low damage count for a 33 minute game. I think uh not they weren't really fighting too much other than the Fizz. I mean they at the beginning of the game they were fighting a lot and nobody was taking kills or anything, so I don't know. True. It's pretty surprising, but I want to see the vision now. The vision is the most important stat in the game. And everybody got everybody bought a control ward. Good job on them. Clap and a good. outstanding 85 vision score for Brom, which is SRC Raccoon. Raccoon? Raccoon double N. Hmm. Interesting. Who, Interesting. who would you give the uh 
the uh, MVP too, my good sir. The MVP too. I'll t I think SRC Divine did a really good job controlling the map, uh, securing those drakes and getting the right ganks on the right time. I don't know if you remember when they stopped the uh, the early gank of Fizz and Pantheon on Vagar mid lane. Yeah, blowing the double flash. flash. Yes, indeed. Really that was honestly that might have just saved part of the game. Yeah. Uh, other than Pantheon that, SRC. Other than Fluffy having to deal with a Fizz, uh, the rest of the team did really well. Yeah. And being uh, the sub, no, nonetheless, right? Yeah, quite indeed. An E-sub on top of that. So, uh -huh. I believe this is going to conclude the day for the digital streaming day for this week. Uh, tune in next week for, I believe, let me get, let me get the schedule real quick. Nobody or else. Schedule? Some other teams, yes, indeed. So next week is going to be week nine of Duo Esports, and we're going to have a EQ Eclipse versus Galaxy Gaming Dragon, uh, Dragon Fight Club versus MG Midnight. This we'll have to wait for. We don't, I'm not quite sure yet. And Team Phoenix Rising versus Rift Dragon. Quite, that's going to be nice. Uh, nice little stream game, stream day for next week. Dude, I'm so on one of those teams. Pog. <laughs> Poggers. And uh, thank you for tuning in to the. Uh, do a esports stream uh, and have a good night, everybody. Peace.